Hello guys, so today let's take a look at this odontogenic tumor which should always be diagnosed, okay? Imagine if you are treating caries for this patient and you don't diagnose a lesion like this, okay? This should never happen in your clinic and that's why this video is really important because those features of this case here are really, really important for you guys. So take a look at this. We have this swollen area right here, all right? So there is the swollen area. So we are seeing the osteolytic lesion, okay? This is just a 3D volumetric reconstruction, but I'm going to show you all the planes very soon. So extending upwards, uh, very close to the inferior rim of the orbit, okay? Or the roof of the maxillary sinus, in continuation with the infraorbital foramen over here, crossing the midline, and then the lesion extends towards the other side of the maxilla. With this edited 3D reconstruction, we can see those limits right here. And then with bone trapped inside the lesion, so a multilocular lesion, some displacement of teeth. So, of course, we need to diagnose this on the uh, multiplanar reconstruction planes. So, let's see now the, these planes now, and there you have it. So, this is the best way to diagnose. We are seeing resorption of the lateral wall of the maxillary sinus. Take a look at this. The sinus is completely opacified with expansion of walls, okay? Now we are seeing this area with bone trapped inside the lesion, all right? So the multilocular area of the lesion. And then if I move my axis, all right? Let me bring everything here again, okay? So if I move my axis, take a look at this. The lesion continues to the other side of the maxilla. Now on this coronal plane, you are seeing the continuation, the communication between both sides, all right? So this lesion has slow growth, asymptomatic. So there are a list of, I want you guys to pause the video and try to define your differential diagnosis list. Give your comments, okay? Let's try, we are here exchanging knowledge, all right? So give your comments and we are going to discuss this on the comments as well. Uh, which lesions would you include in the differential diagnosis? I heard one student saying, for example, giant central cell granuloma. It's not a, a, a bad, actually, option, but the patient is older, okay, so this patient is after the fifth decade of life. Usually, uh, gyus intercell granuloma happens in young patients, three times more in the mandible, okay, up to three times more in the mandible. So, it, again, it's one of the possibilities, but uh, not really the first option over here, okay? So, try yourselves. We have all the videos for you guys to train diagnosis, all the cases, the cases of the shorts, you guys should train and then you become an expert after training all these videos that we are preparing for you guys here on the channel Understanding Dentistry. You are seeing the, the expansion of the lesion towards the other side, uh, etymoidal sinus is being committed, the nasal cavity, take a look at this, the expansion towards the nasal cavity, okay, I'm talking about this area over here, okay, so take a look at this, this area, the area of invasion, all right, with expansion towards the inferior rim of the orbit, expansion towards the alveolar ridge. If we go posterior, for example, take a look at this. The sinuses are all committed here, okay? So etymoidal cells, nasal cavity, okay? And then we have the remaining part of the lesion on the other side of the maxilla. This case started with a periapical radiograph, all right? And I'm going to show you guys the periapical radiograph now. So that's the periapical radiograph of the case. And then uh, what you do? You need to investigate further, right? So you could go directly for a 3D imaging for CBCT. Of course, you guys are seeing the caries here, cervical caries, but also the displacement of the tooth. This is not the trabecular pattern of the bones of the maxilla, as you guys know. So this could even be uh, an alteration, an, an acute alteration of the bone, osteomyelitis or something. You don't know because you don't have 3D imaging here and you, you are not seeing a very good field of view. So instead, the patient also undertook an OPG. So that's the OPG of the patient. And again, you see the lesion, the limits of the lesion. So the, the right side of the patient and then the left expansion. But then again, 2D is not appropriate for you to see, for you to diagnose this lesion properly. Right, so that's why the CBCT was taken. And then we also have MRI. Okay, so take a look at this, just to show one quick image of MRI, a T2-weighted image, but it's a specific protocol. And then you guys are seeing 
Okay, so T2 weighted images, uh, go back to my video of MRI for you guys to review this content. Uh, T2, in, two, in T2 weighted images, water, inflammation are usually hyper signal and it's uh, very uh, useful to detect some, some lesions, right? So you are here seeing the alterations of the lesion, hyper signal alterations, okay, on the coronal plane. So just to show to you guys some MRI images, although the topic of this video, the intention of this video is not to discuss in details those MRI images and how MRI works because this is actually a very long lecture, okay? So go back to this video first, all right? Okay, so think about your uh, the options of differential diagnosis uh, try your best to re review the content before, use this as a very nice training exercise, okay? And now, at the end of the video, I will tell you guys that there was biopsy and histological confirmation that this was a multicystic ameloblastoma, okay? So this was an ameloblastoma, not the most common presentation that you guys will find for cases like this, but it's an aggressive lesion uh, that can lead to tooth displacement, buccal plates expansion, resorption, and all these features like this. If you guys want to review all lesions in 3D with CBCT, go back to our video, lesions uh, in CBCT. I'm going to add the link on the top right corner of this screen, it will show at some point. Okay, see you guys on the next videos.